Dev cafes are popping up throughout the country, and they're basically these small gatherings of individuals who are curious about death. They want to have a two-hour-long discussion about it, and they talk about everything from wills to how they want to die, what happens when you die, is there an afterlife. So there's a wide variety of death topics during these death cafes. But I find it really interesting because for a really long time, I mean, humans never wanted to confront death. You know, especially in the United States, right? This is something that kind of started in Europe back in 2004, and now Americans have caught on to it, and now they're willing to talk about and confront something as serious as death, and I think yeah. it's a good thing. No, it sounded interesting in the beginning, but as you were explaining it, and then they talk about wills and estates, I was like, man, did anybody get bored to death at a death cafe? <laughs> like, I'm like, that's. I, do they discuss? Well, they have interesting. I'm sure they have interesting discussions about how they want to die, what happens after you die. You know, the, the, what would you do if you were diagnosed with a terminal illness? I don't know if they discuss something like uh, doctor-assisted suicide, but that's an interesting topic of discussion when it comes to death. We did an entire episode of The Point on death. Uh -huh. um, and, and there are so many bases to cover, so. No, no, I love it. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm at a death cafe, I'm in, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, because I, I love that topic. Because you know, people wonder, like, they think it's, it's a little macabre, you know, why do you care so much about death? Because it's, it's not about death, it's about life, right? It's about how you live life. Here's the number one misunderstanding that people have they don't actually believe they're going to die. Now, like, everybody that gets, of course, like, you know you're going to die, but you don't actually understand that. You don't actually believe in your day-to-day -day life as you're a 27-year-old, you're a 47-year-old, whatever it might be. You don't think that one day, lights out, gone. You're okay. absolutely right about that. It, you have that, oh, it's never going to happen to me mentality deep inside. Like, so you do accept, like, of course, it happens to everyone, but you don't want to think about it because you think, like, oh, it's so far in the future that I'm not going to have to confront it anytime soon. I don't need to think about it. So a lot of people put it off, put it off, put it off, and sometimes it's too late. And then they end up passing away, and there are a lot of, like, loose, loose ends that they never got to figure out. Yeah, forget the loose ends, man. YOLO. YOLO, okay? That, that's the whole point of this. I mean, yeah. I've been obsessed with Carpe Diem for my entire life. Because, you know, one of the advantages I had is that I, relatively early on, I understood we got an expiration date, right? And every single day matters. It, it's, it's one less day that you're going to live. Mm -hmm. And if you misspent that day, you screwed up. Because I don't know what the number is. Everybody's got a number, the number of days that they're going to live. Right? And when you think about it that way, man, you better use every one of those days right. Because if I told you now, you have 32 days to live, mm -hmm. how valuable would those 32 days be? Right? Most valuable days of my life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But the reality is, every day is the most valuable day of your life because there is a number for everybody. I just wish we knew what that number was. I, yeah, I don't know that I want to know. I would want to know what that number was. See, Jay, I doesn't want to know it. And all of a sudden, I feel like we're at a death cafe. We're having a discussion about life We're and death. We're having a death cafe. Well, you look at this. Somebody get me a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I love the topic, and, uh, and I'll be at a local death cafe near you soon.